Hello, welcome to the American International School of Algiers, Algeria. We're so happy you're here. American schools overseas have a similar philosophy to the schools in the United States. And what that means is that we believe in lifelong learning. And so we teach students not to be memorizers, but to be problem solvers and critical thinkers and to ask lots of questions. Uh, we also believe that we need to have a very positive climate for learning, that teachers, while they are teachers, are also supporters and are people that are accessible and that students can talk to and ask questions and uh, relate to them. Also, um, we really believe, research shows us, that students do so much better when parents are involved. So we really believe that it's a team effort. We like to work closely with parents so that we can provide the best uh, opportunities for students. And we want to have fun too. We want to create a really positive climate here. The school is located in a very lovely villa with nice garden in um, Benek Nun. And um, it's a very solid villa with lots of rooms. Uh, and on the top floor is a beautiful large room that we will uh, work, that will be our library. Uh, we have, we're expecting over a thousand volumes to start our library initially. Um, and um, we're planning to put in play structures and you know provide sports equipment, etc for the students. The application process is clearly spelled out on our website, which is www.aisalgiers.org. And, um, you know, it'll give all the information regarding uh, which grade a student is in based on their um, birth date, uh, the tuition, um, all of the forms that need to be filled out. So if somebody's not living here in Algiers, and we've had many parents contact us who are currently living elsewhere, but are planning to come here next year, then they can send, submit all the forms to us uh, via email. Uh, we can you know, review the students' records, etc., and then we can either wait until they arrive in the summer to test their children, or we can arrange to have their current school um, administer a test where they are. I think this is a very defining moment for our two governments and our two countries. Um, this is going to allow not only uh, the people at the U.S. Embassy but other companies who have children who are currently um, being educated in English to be able to come here because up to this point they've been very limited in who, who they could bring. I, I also think that it's just a wonderful opportunity for us to now interact with the uh, other schools here in Algeria and, and to you know, get to know each other and to help education. Um, tuition is very similar to all of the schools in the region that are American schools in, for example, um, Morocco, Tunisia, and Egypt. It's 25000 U.S. dollars a year and plus a $5,000 capital fee which goes into a fund to help us get ready to one day perhaps build our own school. Um, we are not funded by the government, so all of the costs that we incur have to come from tuition. Um, of course, it's expensive to hire teachers from the United States and to, you know, house them, pay their salaries, etc., and to bring all the materials that we're going to be using, books, etc., from the United States. So uh, the tuition, you know, is going to help us cover that. We currently have approximately 40 students who are showing interest, um, but it's hard to know how many are going to come forward in, now that everyone knows that we're opening. Um, we're hoping the class sizes will not go beyond 16 or 17 initially. And um, it could be that if the numbers are small enough, we, we would be combining classes. Yes, definitely. It's part of the agreement 
the the problem of course is that this is not a school where you come to learn English this is an American school as if you were living in the United States so all of our courses are delivered in English and our students need to be able to be successful um, you know a five-year-old might not have to be you know f certainly doesn't have to be fluent in English as long as they can understand a little bit but by the time they get to be seven eight and nine with with all of the demands of the courses being exclusively in English it would be really hard for a student to be successful if they didn't have a certain level of English the admission test is primarily focused on um, reading, language arts, and uh, mathematics. The school offer, will offer courses in Arabic the first year to only Algerians. Um, we're, we're starting small, so you know, we have to have a, a, a reasonably uh, um, accessible program to our students. We don't know how many of our students are going to be non-native English speakers. So um, perhaps, you know, next year or the year after, we might be offering beginning Arabic to some of our students. But right now, our focus is English. All of our courses are in English except for the Arabic course. We want to make sure that our students have a very strong uh, knowledge of and ability to communicate in English. Right now, we have no ability to provide transportation. Well, currently we have hired all of our teachers so far based on the expectation that we're having 40 students. If that goes over and we need to hire more teachers, then I have my work cut out for me. Uh, one of our teachers is currently here already. Uh, she's worked in many um, American schools, but she is British. Uh, and then we have four teachers coming from uh, different places all over the world who are originally American. They are all certified and credentialed, and they all have extensive uh, experience. Of course, we will have an Algerian who's going to be teaching Arabic and who's going to be teaching um, Algerian history, culture, and geography. And possibly we'll be finding local teachers to teach um, sports, music, we're trying, and we will, we're committed to opening August 23rd. We recognize that it might be a little early for some parents, um, but it's typical of an American school to open toward the end of August. Um, and if parents aren't here right on time, they don't need to get too stressed about it because we're going to be working really hard to accommodate everybody. It's our first year. We're all going to work together to make this a fantastic year. Thank you so much for coming. I look forward to showing as many people as I can our wonderful school.